an industrial wood chipper, capable of reducing whole trees to dust in a matter of seconds. Just imagine what it could do to a body. And here come the girls. No time to imagine what they can do. There's a dangerous escape coming up. Appropriately enough, the magician has a solid pine box in the shape of a coffin headed straight toward the wood chipper's 1,000 RPM blades. You can probably guess what he's got in mind. We know this guy is pretty twisted. Under no circumstances should you attempt anything you're about to see. Sure enough, he heads straight for the coffin. Let's hope he's not headed to an early grave. His assistants are all too eager to help seal him inside the pine box. Maybe he's not so easy to work for. The lid goes into place. The teeth continue to grind. The magician sticks his hands through two hand holes. The lid is fastened with screws as his hands are secured with a pair of regulation police handcuffs, which will make his escape from the coffin even more difficult. I don't even want to think about what's going to happen next. The grinding teeth of that wood chipper are less than 30 feet away. Do you think the magician plans to escape before he and the box are ground into garden mulch? The box is in motion, cruising down the conveyor and directly at the spinning blades. Less than 10 feet to go, and he's still trapped inside. This is too dangerous. His hands are free, but someone better let him out. This is one continuous camera shot. The box isn't stopping. It's being sucked into the steel jaws. I can't bear to watch. The chipper is turning the coffin and its occupant into shreds. So long, masked man. And I didn't even get a chance to thank him for all the laughs. But wait, who's this? Can it be? The masked magician. He stared death in the face and won again. Nice work. So how does the magician escape the coffin and the handcuffs before it's fed into the grinding blades of the 220 horsepower wood chipper? There's a secret, but this is still a very dangerous trick. Again, do not try this at home. Failure would result in a horrifying death. This is a real wood chipper, and the pine coffin is actually being reduced to tiny flakes of wood. But the masked magician knows he'll make it out in time. The assistants use real screws to fasten the lid in place. The handcuffs, on the other hand, aren't so real. That's why he's confident he'll escape before he's chopped to pieces. The handcuffs are rigged to open with the slightest pressure. Here's another look. A quick snap of the wrists, and he's out. The truth shall set you free, and so will phony cuffs. Not very sporting of him, but then again, he's got to minimize the danger. The magician is free of the handcuffs, but still headed for certain doom. But he's not worried since the coffin has a secret trap door along one side. This secret panel allows him an instant escape. Once his hands are free, all he has to do is flip open the door and jump out of the box. A thick pad breaks his fall only seconds before the box is chewed to shreds. A soft landing, safe and sound. And here's the secret to why we never see his escape. Beneath the conveyor belt is a mirror that reflects the ground. We never see anyone walk in front of the mirror like this, so the illusion is very convincing. When you look closely from this angle, you can see the mirror vibrating as the coffin enters the chipper. Of course, you're so distracted by the destruction, we don't even bother to notice. And now for the magician's escape route. 
he crawls from the crash mat across the ground and along the back side of the chipper. While we're looking at the shooting shards of wood, he's making his way into the cab of the truck. The driver's door is open and ready for his arrival. From the front seat, it's just a short hop into the back of the truck. A black curtain hides the magician until it's time for him to make his appearance. He sneaks out and strikes a pose, offering relief to those who feared the worst. <laughs>